a lot of you have wondered what I eat in a day after my bariatric surgery. Well, come on in. I'll show you what I'm doing right now. Hi, I'm Joanne Loy, and I want to take you on my bariatric journey. A lot of people ask me, too, okay, you can only eat 800 to 1,000 calories a day. What do you eat? If you don't eat meat, if you don't eat whatever, what do you eat? My morning usually starts with some fruit, maybe a smoothie, a smoothie bowl sometimes. I have oatmeal, but I do use a steel cut uh, whole grain oatmeal. And I've, of course I have to have my coffee. That's, that's one thing I just won't give up. But I do have a uh, low acid coffee that I drink that I really like. I, I do that with uh, some non-dairy creamer, just a little bit of that in. For lunch, I will have maybe a salad. I will have uh, maybe another smoothie. I can have a sandwich. I could eat a sandwich. I usually eat, eat those open face though because I can't, I don't want to get all the bread in and or whatever. And, then not have room for the nourishing part of the sandwich. So I'll do that. I will have soups. Let us know in the comments below of any comfort foods that you might be really think you'd be craving that you want to know how to make in a more healthy way. And we'll try to get those recipes up for you. For dinner, I'll a lot of times make a, like a roasted vegetables, baked potatoes. Uh, I do vegan sloppy joes uh, that are really good for Kenny, Kenny loves them. We just eat a lot of vegetables. We love our vegetables. And we have salads, we have slaw, we have fermented foods uh, like sauerkraut, uh, things like that. But one of the things that I dearly, dearly, dearly loved before the surgery was Philly cheese steak sandwiches. Well, that has everything that I can't have, basically. The steak is too fibrous, too hard to digest. The bread, oh my goodness, there are those huge buns. That would take up, I could only eat half of it, and the bread alone would take up way more than my pouch would even hold. Plus, I've got the meat and the cheese and the onions and the peppers and all that stuff. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button. It'll sure help us. Thank you. I thought, I've got to find a way. I've got to do this. I, I just have to find a way to eat this stuff. Well, I found a good substitute. One of them is using the portobello mushrooms for the meat and then sauteing, uh, marinating those with the, the uh, like Worcestershire sauce and uh, tamari and different spices and sauteing that up and putting it on the bun with the sauteed onions. Only I will use, take half the bun scoop out most of the breading, toast it, and just have it open face and eat it with a knife and fork. But the flavor is still there. Or the best one that I came up with was uh, satan. And that is, you, if you're gluten-free, you, you can't have that, but it, I, I'm not gluten intolerant, so I'm okay with that. But it, honestly, I, I, I was amazed. I could not tell the difference. I ate it just like, I, I fixed it just like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, and it was phenomenal. So there are ways around it to, around these things that we, you can get your comfort foods. You just have to go about it in a little bit different way. You have to just be a little creative. There, you can go on Pinterest. You can go on Line. You can, there are numerous, numerous ways of finding recipes. Uh, just Google vegan, gluten-free, if you're gluten-free, whatever, whatever it is, Philly cheesesteak, and you'll come up with a whole bunch of recipes. And believe me, they're worth it. it. It's really good. If I want pizza, I just make sure that my crust is whole grain, or it'll just be grain-free, gluten-free crust that's really thin and have it really crispy and then we just put vegetables on top and uh, vegan cheese if we want it. I personally can have certain cheeses as long as it's not too much and they're very aged because the enzymes in the cheeses make it where I can actually tolerate the, 
dairy part of it, although I, I limit that very much. I'll, I'll, I'll just use the vegan cheese. For snacks, I will have um, either a protein bar or maybe some crackers with some peanut butter or nut butter on it or fruit. I love fruit. I could eat fruit all day long. I may make me a small smoothie, something like that. That's what I eat in a day. And that's what we're here for, to help you in, in that journey and to remake your comfort foods in a healthy way, whether or not you had the surgery. You want your comfort foods, that's great, but let's make them in a healthier way. And we're here to help you do that. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, ring the bell and subscribe. And thanks for watching and see you later. Bye-bye. Just forgot what I was going to say.